Hey, Quilters, today's show is about bags and bags and more bags. So stay tuned to see so many bags made so many different ways. I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's Creativity Expert. All right, welcome to today's trunk show called The Cats Out of the Bag. Today we are talking about so many different bags mm -hmm. and how to make them. That's right. Now we'll be joined by our favorite bag lady, Miss Carolina Moore of Always Expect More. She's going to be talking about her Go Boxed Bag die that she designed for us and everything that you can do with it. And I never knew how easy putting bottoms on bags oh was my gosh. until Carolina came and hung out with us and taught so us how to simple. do it. So simple. I know, it's just crazy. She is truly one of our favorite people, and you're going to love seeing what she's up to. Along with some really fun prizes, we've got a huge trunk show, stacks and stacks of bags, gathered up so we can't wait to share with you as well. Well, I don't think there's a better way to start a discussion about making bags than by welcoming Carolina Moore to the show. Do you? I do not. All right. <laughs> She's an expert when it comes to making bags and so much more. She is a quilt pattern designer. Yes. She's an award-winning quilter who's a fan of all things quilting. She is a celebrity for art gallery fabrics and ambassador for baby lock sewing machines. She has got to be one of the busiest folks so in the much. whole quilting industry, as she is known for her blinged out baby lock sewing machine that often travels with her, as well as a sparkly coordinating go me that you can see in some of the videos that we made with Carolina here in our dream studio. Now, Carolina is an innovative notion designer and Quite frankly, she is just plain fun. Welcome to the show, Miss Carolina. We're so excited to have you back here to talk about your box bag die two die set and how to use it. Oh my gosh, what an intro. Y'all are amazing. I am just blushing. Listen, you should totally let us introduce you <laughs> all over blush the place. Blush away, yeah. We'll, we'll travel with you all yeah. the places because I think she just did like a cruise oh or something. Oh my gosh, she was just traveling so much. And you should have had us there just to introduce you. Yeah. Really, totally would have been absolutely worth it there. <laughs> but now you're home for a hot minute, right? You're going to do some work. Bag, die, two die set, and how to use um, it. I am home for a oh minute. Gosh, well, I uh, get to not travel for a little while, so that's good because traveling is not as productive, and I, I've been really enjoying staying put and working on projects, which I get to show you. All right, so have you been making any new projects with your bag dies? So many. So first of all, um, I'm in love with the fat quarter tote pattern. Um, it's four fat quarters and some strapping. And I've just been making so many of these because they are so super handy. Um, this is a free pattern on the AccuQuilt site. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been and making tons four, of these. Four fat quarters, right? Four fat quarters, right. And yeah, that webbing for the handles. And then this is actually made with one of the AccuQuilt Bob oh. dies. And it's just a fun little tote. And I did the curved corners and darts on this one oh, for a different that? look. Oh gosh, that's fun. I like that a lot. I do too. This was made using an AccuQuilt strip die and the box corner die. And I actually used vinyl on this because you can run vinyl through your AccuQuilt machine and the dies will cut it. And so this was a little date night clutch and it has this little oh, handle right so here cute. to make it super easy to carry. Oh, look, oh, at, look that. at that. Clever girl, you. Thank you. And then, um, I am in love with all things June Taylor right now. Yes. So I have behind me one of the June Taylor quilt as you go oh. quilts. This is the log cabin, the 40 inch mm -hmm. log yes. cabin. Yes. And I was working on the, the these are the mug rugs. But yes. I took oh my gosh, those are adorable. And oh, I turned them look into at you. a little zippered pouch. So this is a June Taylor mug rugs. Two of them makes a zippered pouch and three come in a set. So you can have a mug rug and a zipper pouch from one June Taylor pack of the mug rugs. Oh Getting my gosh. Money's worth there. You are so clever. And these are the June Taylor placemats. This is the um, Alberta Skies placemats. This is what yes. the, the looks like. Yes. And I turned this into a tote bag using two of the placemats. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. They match down the bottom because I have the flankies going up here but going down oh. here so that they just go all the way around the bag. 
You. I love it. Clever, clever quilter you. So, you are so Yeah, I've been clever. having lots of fun. Oh, and then I've been making pin cushions because the box bag die doesn't just make bags. Yes. Anything that you want with box corners. So this is also a free pattern on the AccuQuilt site, which is making a pin cushion using the box bag die. Okay, we truly okay. need to do that because yes. we have not yet done that. We yeah. have not yet done that. Well, do you want to you want to show off how your dies work? Absolutely. <laughs> so the die is super easy to use. It's a little different than a traditional die. I have my little go me here because it fits on the go me. And yes, I have my sparkly blinged go me. Yes, I can as well. see it. But we're gonna use the less fancy go me, the little <laughs> um, her sister. The everyday so, plain go me. This is the oh, I still have some squares on here from the last thing that I cut on here. This is the two, the one of the dies from the two die set. This does the box corner and then the dart. And we'll do the box corner on this because I have some fabric cut out for making a zippered pouch. And so I'll take one of the outside pieces. I've already fused fusible fleece to the back of this. I love using fusible fleece on my pouches. You taught me that. Yes. You taught me that because yes. I was like, how do I make this work? And you're like, oh, fusible fleece. Fleece is super easy. And then we're going to have it hang off the end of our die here. I'm going to do a one and a half inch dart, or sorry, a box corner on this. So I'm just gonna line it up with a one and a half inch and one and a half inch. And this is different than most dies because usually you have all your fabric on the die. And right. here we have most of our fabric off the die. Yes. And here's a trick that I learned from watching Chris Marcini, which is even though I have this bigger die board, I'm only using this part of the blade. So I can use a smaller cutting mat and just cover the part of the blade that I'm using. Because it's only going to cut where there's fabric in a mat. Yep. So then I'm going to run it through. I'm bringing the whole die towards me here so that there's extra space between the die and the machine. And I'll show you why in a second. We're going to start running it through. Once it's pinched in there, I can take this extra fabric and just tuck it on the side. And it'll run through. Perfect. And once the whole thing is cut and you'll hear it pop on the other side, there it goes. I can actually just pull everything back through. It doesn't have to run all the right. way through. And I have my two box corners. Oh, perfection. I love it. I love it. And then you just sew on those. We just learned. It yeah. was just fabulous. Yes. And we have to just oh, go ahead. Fold them and sew them with your regular quarter inch seam allowance. Yep. And that gives you that 3D pop so that you have bags that sit up and stand up. Okay. So um, we want everyone to follow you because we follow you and we think you're fabulous. Yes. Um, where can we find you and what are you up to? All those things on your social media. Well, you can find me on YouTube as Carolina Moore. In fact, I think most places, if you just type in Carolina, spelled like the state Carolina, and then Moore with two O's, you'll find me. I'm on Instagram and TikTok as Craft Moore. I'm on YouTube as Carolina Moore. And my blog is always expectmore.com. Excellent. Oh, fantastic. So anything new, anything, any secrets you're going to share today? Any secrets that I'm going to share today? Yeah. I don't, well, I mean, I'm always working on new things. I don't know how many secrets I'm allowed to share. Although no one has seen these that I just showed yet. Um, all of them. Um, okay. Those are fabulous. Yeah. On the quilt we need go. to do a Wednesday show like that. Yes. I think I'm doing a Wednesday show on bags. I think up. I think you are. I think I might I think, steal Carolina's I idea. I think so. We'll give you total props. For yeah. It. Yeah, she will. Well, I, let what me know when because I want to tune in. <laughs> oh, Excellent. Oh, Carolina, it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for being on the show with us. No show about bags would be complete without having you here. And you. we can't wait to see what you come up with next because yeah. you're always coming up with new stuff for us. She is. Thank you. Thanks, well, thanks for having me. It's so fun hanging with you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, June Taylor placemats. Who knew? Who knew? Well, Carolina. Mug rugs. Mug rugs. Mug rugs. That was the, the, that was the one that oh just my gosh. sent me over there. Um, okay, make a so little she scrap. Showed us, and, uh. She showed us how to put fabric on the dies. She showed us how to cut them. If you want to watch it, if you go to our YouTube channel, our yes. Facebook channel, or our uh, website, you can find all sorts of videos on how to use Carolina's die. She actually yes. Came here to the studio. Here, so, we'll turn it around. So like this is the one. Right okay. Here. So this is the one that she was using, and she was using this corner to cut that corner out to make it 
a box bag. Yep, and you can cut up to four inches. Right, which is huge actually on yeah. the box corner. And then this is for making the darts. Yep, and then we have a low curve and a high curve. And it's, it's really easy because you're gonna put your fabric there in the corner and cut it. Right, but you could do so many other things with this. Like I used it to cut the curved corners on uh, flannel wipes that I was making for oh. Aaron for her baby. There you go. So lots of ways to use this die. If you don't have this two die set, lots of ways to do. use it. Okay, well, in our pile of bags, we have so many. We have a pile. So now seems like the perfect time to show off some of the bags that are made from the patterns that Carolina has written for us. And so this we're gonna start with, okay, so we've got her Go Simple Zip Bags. These are by Carolina Moore. And again, this is one you can see she's got this rounded corner. Yep. She's done the darts. It's fun, gives it a fun shape. This is just a really basic one. Yep. I just made one like this last night. And they don't always have to be solid. You can no, use your this orphan one's, blocks yeah. and make them. This one has a fancy it zipper. It does have a fancy zipper. Okay, are you gonna put all the- I will put them, I there? will put them, the, the seen ones okay. over here. All right. And then we have the, let's see, she had the fat quarter grocery tote. That was the yes. one that she showed was the fat quarter grocery tote. Yes. Then we've got her champagne bottle bag. And this I love, she's got it little uh, quarter square triangle units. Yep, and she folded it inside out and stitched it so it doesn't have a ridge on the inside. And she stitched the ribbon in it so you just pop the bag in and tie it around and then you give them a re reusable bag bag as well, which is kind of cool. I like that. And then we've got her Go Santa sack over here. Yep. These are really cool. I actually made a bunch of these this year for Christmas. And then I collected them all from everyone and put them in a box downstairs to use again next year. So they're big and you could personalize them. You could totally mm -hmm. put, you know, Oakley and Aries and Damon, right. all the names on it that you wanted to. And it worked really well for like those big Lego sets. Oh yes. Um, but it also worked well for my big kids. For Like a microwave. Yeah, <laughs> like a microwave. <laughs> all right, all right, any other of these that we need to show that okay, we're Okay, no, not yet. Okay. Erica, <laughs> oh wait, Erica there's more. Fun. All right, since we've been talking about the Go Box 2 die set by Carolina Moore, let's give one away to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. Okay, that is a great idea because it's such a great die set. Uh, the lucky registered viewer winning a Go Box Bag Die 2 die set by Carolina Moore is, drum roll please. It's Connie W. from Richland, Washington. Congratulations. You're gonna love this. Oh, you really are. All right, so now some quilters have a hesitation to jump into bag making because it involves a zipper. Because they're just not experienced with sewing them into projects. Right. Quilts do not have zippers, typically. But we're here to show you a whole new way to add zippers to bags that doesn't even in, you, involve using a zipper foot for your sewing machine. It is called a zippity do done zipper. And here is an example of what it looks like. So we met this innovative zipper when we joined forces, be careful because it's not sewn across the ends. Oh, okay. I'll when we joined careful. forces with June Taylor last year. So this is how it works. So it's already set into a casing mm -hmm. on either side. So here I've got some step outs. So you can take, we've got one side already done here. And you take the other side and so you just put it in this you just put it in the the little it's like a makes a little pocket for it and you put it in and you just top stitch down over the top of it that's it quilters and it's, then it will just zip open but here is my big pro tip yes um i put june taylor glue stick basting and to help I, keep to it help in help line it without in line. having to pin yes mm -hmm. and then i do it on the top and the bottom and then you can just stitch right along the edge. And here's what I would suggest. I would suggest, this is a, this is a, a nylon zipper, so you can sew across it on either end. That way you eliminate the risk of accidentally running it off the yeah. end and having to put it back on, which can be done. It's just not as simple. And then once you've got that in, 
you can go back in if you want to and do some decorative stitches on that. Yep, and then you're gonna put right sides together. And at that point, it's super simple to make, Just to follow. sew those. Sew yep. those darts. Yep, so look, here's the darts are in the bottom. And Carolina talked about how she put them together. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna sew that. So we have lots of videos on how to sew these together, but I like this one. I do too. Those zippity zippers. And you zippity can- Zippity doodun zippers. You can purchase them in seven different colors. Yes. Uh, but it's also included with some really great kits that make it super easy to jump into some bag making. So let's look at the Caitlin tote. Let's see, you've got, okay, that's the crossbody one right there. Right here? Yes. This is a super fun one. And it's got one at the top, one zipper at the top, and then it's got a zipper pocket on the side. So, Look at that. And I love that orange lining pop, don't you? Look at how fun that is. Okay, and do you have a Caitlin tote? I don't, but I okay. need to make one. Okay. Super right. handy for traveling, I think. All right, now we have some cosmetic bags. Yes. And these are zippity doodons. No, these are not. Yes, they, they are. are. Oh, they are. They are. They've, They've just, just been in half. Right. They've just stitched across the oh, end of it. That. And see, it's folded in half because it's across the top of the bag. Look at how fun that is. But this is a Quilt As You Go project. It is. That includes the zipper with it. So that's really a fun thing. And it makes a two die set or a two bag set. So these are great for wedding party gifts and mm -hmm. and like bridal bachelorette and bridal shower things okay. now the project bag it's over underneath the hardware and i just have one here but it does come with two so this is the smaller one There's, 16 inch and 18 inch yes and i love this because it's a cool tissue go kit and it comes with the zippity do done zipper you can get it with the white black or navy mm -hmm. And it comes with the vinyl, the clear vinyl. Yes. So you and can you, see your project. And then you just quilt it like a quilt. And on the back, we use the B and B hive die. Which right. Which is our die to try. Look at how so fun Isn't this that is. fun? Mm -hmm. and Erica made me one. I have one at home. Just I like did. It. I did. I, so I keep my needlepoint projects. I my little needlepoint ornaments. I just look at mine lovingly. I haven't put anything I in see. it yet. <laughs> That's okay. You can do that. <laughs> Next up, we've got our grab and go tote. These. Yes. Oh, look at me doing Look stuff. at you. Okay, so this was one that I made at Valentine's Day. And they're, again, a quilt tissue go, but they have those mm -hmm. great zippity doo done zippers. Mm -hmm. And mine is lined with Valentine, Valentine-y things. These are so fun. This one has got the black zipper in it, and it's been embellished with just a strip of your fabric. Yep. So you can really make it coordinate. It gives you some nice real estate on the zipper, either for decorative stitches mm -hmm. or a strip of the fabric to coordinate it. You can put a little, little, handle, a little handle on, on it. it. Yep. Um, it's just super cute. They're fast, easy. These would be great little graduation gifts. Mm -hmm. I put Oakley's Valentine's. She took all of her Valentine's and put them in there. Oh, that's so cute. I had to borrow it back from her. All right, now next up, we've got our Emily tote. Now, which one is the, oh, that's, that's Emily, I think. This? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I think this is Emily, and I'll I would this. call Emily a crossbody bag or a, a fanny pack. Yes, but look, in honor of the eclipse yesterday. Yes. Hey, some of you were where it was a total eclipse. It was super cool. Here in Nebraska, yes. we just got a partial eclipse. We had to stop like calls. like 80. Yeah. Um, yeah. So but we, we had to stop see. some calls so that we could we could go see. It was still pretty, pretty. So this is super fun because if you were going like on a trip to the happiest place on earth, yes, you could use happiest place on earth fabric. Oh yes, you and you could. could embroider people's names in it so everybody oh, would have their own. You could add some applique. Mm -hmm. You could put initials on it. Yep. You could everybody hang it over your shoulder. Initial one for everybody. Great idea. I like those. Okay, now I think over there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is actually an insulated lunch tote. Really? Yes. If you can How hear it do kind I of. I not have one. I don't know. But you can hear it kind of crinkle. That's that oh, yeah. insulated batting that's on the inside. Again, this is a Quilt As You Go project from June Taylor. It's got the zippity do done zipper and just as taken the accent fabric and cut a strip, folded the raw edges in and stitched it on. 
Look at how fun But I is. love it because those kits come with everything that you need except for your fabric. Yeah. So and a this great is way to super bust up fun. Your stash, use up your scraps. Boy, I, ha I had no idea. I should make one of those for Oakley for Oakley. You should. Lunch. Okay. In my spare time, I'll do that. Yes. All right. Now, Quilter, since today's show is all about bags, as you have seen, we want to know what kind of bags do you like to make? Uh, let us know in the comments section wherever you stream our show. All right. Now, if you're new to making bags, we have some that might be great for your first time. But yes. I have to say that even veteran quilters would enjoy making any of these quilts as you go bags that we've shown or the new ones we're going to mm -hmm. show. Oh, they're wonderful because really it takes... You have everything you need. You have right. the vinyl, you have the handles, you have the zipper, you have all the things. Right. And better yet, most of them you can cut um, two and a half inch strips. There is a die for that. There is. It might be a good way to use up some scraps left over from a project or just a fun way to teach somebody how to sew because you get a really cool thing then left over. So we want to go through some bag step outs. And which bag is this? Is I, this you're the... in charge, Erica. I don't know. Uh, Erica knows all the things this, about the bag. This isn't Alexandra. I think this must be Sophie. Okay. So this, this is a great <laughs> shopping tote. Right. So this is this is our, our target. This is what we're going for. And you can see it's all lined on the inside. Super fun K-facet fabric yep. on this. Well, let's take a look at how we got there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open these up. And we're going to talk about all the things that come in it. Right. So this is actually the batting that comes in it. And it's numbered. Mm -hmm. And these are all two and a half inch strips. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to attach the backing right. to the batting. So to the, the wrong, back side, right. And this is together. printed. It is. And then you're gonna stitch. Nope, not yet. Yep, yep. yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna stitch, stitch around that outside solid line. Right here. Yep. Okay, and then this is what it's gonna look like, okay. So, and it's gonna come with, um, we're gonna talk about this first. So the, here's the handles. Yes. And here's the, the webbing. webbing. And it comes in the package it does. too. It's already pre-cut, everything. So these are great because you, it'll show you, you've got um, that yeah, same, that same few, uh, batting. batting like we've got here, but It'll give you instructions on how to make your handle. The webbing goes inside, mm -hmm. and then you just s stitch it shut. And, and then you've it, got super strong. strong handles then. Yep. Okay, so it comes with handles. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start here, and you're just going to add two and a half. You're going to subcut your fabric, mm -hmm. two and a half inch strips, and you're going to start, and you're going to press it away, and you're going to press it away. And then you're going to continue on following the instructions with these two mm -hmm. and a half inch strips. That's right. Okay, all right, and then? Then, you keep following, they come with great instructions, and we've got videos too, but you take, you here you've got it, it's already gonna be lined for you, right? Mm -hmm. And quilted together, so then you're gonna keep following those directions. And then here's almost, the, so you're gonna turn it inside out. Yep. But this is what it's gonna look like. And when we talk about those corners, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up just mm -hmm. like this. And then you're gonna stitch a half an inch along here along yep. the bottom. And that's how you get flat bottom bags. And then you're gonna turn everything out, inside out. Yep. And this one we had a printed fabric in. This one for the sample, we left it plain so you could see what we were doing. Super fun, quick, easy, learn to sew project. Okay, there you go. Okay. I have all the things. All right. Okay. Now, if you're going to do that, there are some notions that are going to come in super right handy. And we've got them over here on the set. And one of those, the first one's going to be starch savvy. Mm -hmm. Because when you're doing those right quilts here. as you go projects, you're not going to want to be ironing the press and iron onto that batting. Right. So by treating your fabric and pressing it out with the start savvy beforehand, you're gonna get nice creases, especially if you use that magic seam wand you see that's right next, right to, next it. to it. And the quilt basting spray is fantastic for keeping your layers together. And I use it with all of the things that I'm quilting myself, yep. not just bags. Look at how fun that is. All right, Erica, we're moving Charlotte. on. Charlotte, that was Charlotte. Oh, thank you, good, Charlotte. Totes. I think that was Charlotte. Okay. 
but I know this is Charlotte that you're showing us right here. This one is super cute. And this cute. one is super cute. Yep, so this is our Charlotte bag and we um, applicate our little go llama dye onto it. Mm -hmm. so think about these totes, they have some really great real estate for they do. applique. So you yeah. could use the kitten dye. Right, so you could use a solid panel of fabric down the center. You wouldn't have to piece it all. Yep. You can really make it your own, personalize yep. it. I just love this one. This it's one's so great. Cute. Okay. We also have some shopper totes. Oh, and ours have mushrooms on them, I believe. Oh, oh, I think you have them there. Do I have them there? Oh, I did, I grabbed them. I'm so sorry. She did so not think I could be in charge. These are the shopper totes. All the things. These are the shopper totes, and it comes with three different ones in a bag, and these are not as heavy duty. No, but they're right? like if you're gonna take them to the market and you're gonna get you know, fruit and right. bread and... Right, so these have a lighter okay. batting in. You can fit all kinds of stuff in them. We've embellished them with the Go Mushrooms by Janine LaCour. Aren't those cute? These are super fun. And I love that... And mushroom so the fabric. The um, projects always come multiple in a set. Yes, three in a set for that, which is actually pretty darn cool. Okay. And I think you are, you've got a hold of the wine totes over there. This is another Quilt cool As You Go project. Mm -hmm. And there are three different styles that come in the bag. I kept finding twos of things no, that's um, okay. today, Two's but work. there are three that come in. This is one of the most popular kits. Uh, great hostess gifts. Just yeah. pop. You can put, if you don't drink or they don't drink, put a bottle of really nice olive oil or balsamic vin vinegar or something in there. Idea. That's a great idea. Or a coffee syrup or. There you go. Whatever. All right. Should we give away another prize? I think we should. All right, since we've been talking about fun bags and bag projects, I think we should put one together. Like let's say uh, the Alexandra tote. Okay. That one's all two and a half inch strips to put it together. All right, that's a great idea, but let's add some starch savvy, a quilt basting spray and a magic seam wand, just because all of this works together so well. Yes. All right, so the lucky registered viewer winning this bundle is, drum roll please. Jane C of Staten, Oregon. Congratulations, Jane. You're gonna love this, because I know. use like the starch savvy all the time now. Yes. Whether I'm using June Taylor or not. Yes. Now, part okay. of the fun of making bags is making them your own by adding some special little touches, maybe with some special hardware, with tags or labels or applique, as we talked about. Oh, and I we already showed off the mushroom totes, didn't we? We did, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, let's talk about applique and then we'll talk about hardware. Those, oh yes, okay. hardware is fun. Uh, okay. First we have knocked it out of the park. Do you have I it? I have those. So let's see here. So many bags, quilters. Oh, and we already talked about the Charlotte tote with the llama. Yes, but we'll, okay. we'll bring it back. So this is the knocked it, at, is this the right one? Yes. Yes. Oh, look. No, I thought those were. Okay, this is it. Brock this says. is a different one. This is knocked it out of the park tote bag. We use the sports medley dye. So all of you soccer moms and baseball moms and football moms and basketball moms. I love this it. pattern because it's got pockets on the outside because yes. you need those and it's big. It's big. It's so just plain big. You can put big. an extra little blanket in there or a rain cover yes. or an umbrella. So many snacks. Snacks, activities, things for yep. the kids that aren't playing, things for the kids that are playing. Yep. Things for you. For all the things. All the things. All right, next up is the Go Fox drawstring backpack. Look at how Look cute Look how this cute. Is. I Has love this funky fox. flowers on mm -hmm. it. And our fox dye, but you could use the penguin, you could use the llama, you could use the kitten. Right. And it's just a super fun, easy, um, backpack and you can wash it. Yes. Which is important because. Well, and this is fun too. It's because it's washable, this would be fun for like the pool to take your stuff mm -hmm. to the pool, you know, your, your goggles and your, your sunscreen or to put the sports stuff on and oh, yeah. carry your own cleats. Well, right, or you could put sunscreen in there in the yeah. book. Yes, Okay. super cute and fun. Okay, and we showed you the we llama. We showed you the llama. These are super cute. So these are zipper bags. These. And these are the X marks the spot 
zipper bags. How have I not seen these? I don't these? know how you've not seen I these. I must not have been here. I'm always this, here on Tuesday. Oh, these are super cute. So this is Robert Kaufman fabric and then uh, Moda Grunge. Um, and Moda Grunge for the dots. So keep those scraps and cut those little circles. How cute is that? And then they've just quilted over the top. Zippers, don't fear zippers. Don't be scared. And then see, this one's got that dot grunge yeah. on the inside. I have all of this dot grunge except the orange. Why don't, I don't get why you don't have the orange. orange I would think not, you would have it. Halloween. I, I would have thought orange. it would have been in your Halloween. Maybe it is in your Halloween. It might be in my Halloween stuff. Well, I love those. Okay. So, and making up bags opens up so many different materials to use. We've got some fun hardware that Pam's dying to show you in this hardware kit from Sally Tomato. Okay, first of all, it comes like this. And then right here, it has these little magnets. Oh, Kenyan magnets. Did you we need, need magnets? We did. We dropped some pins the other oh. day in the Dream Studio. Oh, gosh, but yes. But look, it has little chains and zippers. There's a zipper pole that I'm just this. dying for. Oh, it's the The acorn one, but there's an Eiffel Tower one. Yes. Yeah. Aren't there these go. cute? Super cute. And zippers and all the things that you need. All grommets. the different things. Wallace and grommets. Rings. Okay. All the different rings. Yep. So all this is a great set. And these, what I love about these zippers in here, they look like they're metal, but they're nylon, yeah. so you can sew over them. Yeah. Makes and them then you just, super easy. Yep. And then you just add the zippers to them. And it's got the little grommet set for adding the grommets yeah. too. So it's gonna be super easy for you to use and make those kits with. I love Belly it. Belly Tomato, it's on our website. Yes. Now, when it comes to different materials, both of us have made some bags using different things from our yes. website. Okay, I'm going to put these up here. Okay. Okay, so I have to give a shout out to Center Street Quilt. They've, I follow them yes. on Instagram. And um, she kind of gave me the inspiration for this. Uh, she just loves to make lots of bags. So what I did was, I took, this was for Easter. Cute. Um, I took some green fabric and batting and I just stitched it there. Oh, yeah, that would be a great size for my needlepoint, some of my needlepoint ornaments. It also was a great some. size for Easter candy. Oh, <laughs> which is what even better. I had to borrow it from Oakley again. Even better. Um, but this is our uh, glitter vinyl by Hungry Hippie, which is available on our website. Yes. And then I just stitched it here and just bound it. It was Super truly easy. the fastest thing. And I love that Center Street Quilts kind of gave me that idea of you should just cut it off here. Yeah. But super fast. Well, this is the pink in the same, right here. the same vinyl, and it has glitter in it. And then I used the pink version of the zippity doo done zipper. And you know, sometimes you need a clear bag, right? Sometimes well, you this do. This is a clear bag. Yeah, like and how if fun is that? Game, it's baseball and then season. I box the corners, and I was thinking about it for like cosmetics or for when you oh. travel. But you could totally put a handle or a little a little wrist mm -hmm. loop on it and use that. I'm gonna make one for Brock out of pink that he can. And I think it comes in in black with sparkles on it too. Would you? Oh yeah, but see, you then, might then, like the black. then it's clear and they can see what's inside. It's true. Okay. He's okay. not answering. I know he's ignoring us. Okay. Cork, Chris, or Caroline was okay. talking about cork. Yes, this is so fun. So this is just Carolina's, what her basic zippy bag. Yes. And I did use a zippity doo done zipper just to see. And then I put a strip of the cork across the middle and it really <laughs> makes it so it'll stand up nicely. And I put some of the cork on top and you don't have to turn it or finish it. You just sew yeah. along the edge. And it's great. And this is so fun because all of these things are available at AccuQuilt.com. Grunge. For the center, for the win. Not just for quilts anymore. Nope, you can make them in bags. All right, we have just a few more bags. I know you find it hard to believe. I know, Starting I know. with the summer beach bag. It was made yes. of clear vinyl plastic and plastic coated pet screen. Erica made this on a show a couple of years ago. Yes. And um, look at how fun. John so. was on. So this is fabric that's got clear uh, thin vinyl on it, mm -hmm. and it makes the pockets. 
Right. And then this is that nylon pet screen yeah. that you get at the hardware store. And this is our pennant die. Mm -hmm. And I've made purses and bags with that. It's pretty handy, especially for like going the to beach. games and the beach and stuff. Yeah. And then this is fun. This is something different. This is the Go Foxy cross body bag and this is faux leather. Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals made this one and it's got a little pocket on the outside and she used Velcro for closing it and then she used cotton to make the strip Super cute. for the cross body part. And I love this faux uh, leather because you can just stitch it with your right. machine. Right. And this would be super cute for a little girl too. Yeah. Yeah, I bet Ella would like that. You could do like mermaid with crowns on oh, it. Oh yes, you could do a mermaid. Oh, okay. Or even just the tail. Oh yes, we were talking up. about that. We yes. were talking about that the other day. Yes. Okay, so quilters, are your minds spinning with ideas like ours? We're gonna take a little break, breathe a little bit, and we're gonna look inside the fabric mailbox and see what our friends from Banyan Batiks have sent us as fabric selections to give away. I have to tell you, I do love Banyan Batiks. I do too. I'm, we're going to love this, aren't we? We are, and we're going to have to give it away. <sighs> As always the way. <gasps> Ooh. Look at these. They're different. These are stunning. Don't fight over them, quilters. We're just going to send them to you. Yeah, it's you're going to get what you get. Eric, oh, my like goodness. Look at these purples. Look at those and purples. Teals. Oh, but I love this teal, too. Mm -hmm. This one's got roses on it. Mm -hmm. Boy, these are the stunning. Look at how These are it. just stunning batiks. Oh. Okay, these could be so many cute bags. I see so many possibilities. But as you said, we gotta give them away. I know, they make us do that every time. Every time. All right, the first winner of a selection of Banyan batiks, listen, I'm just gonna grab whichever ones and send them to you. There you go. Is drum roll, please. <laughs> Pauline L. of Claremore, Oklahoma. Oh, congratulations, Pauline. All right, our second winner of a selection of fabric, the, whichever one Miss Pam so puts in cute. the package. Drum roll, please. It's Peggy J from Waynesville, North Carolina. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, a huge shout out to Vanyan Batiste for sponsoring today's Crunk Show and helping us make such a fun show. Oh, absolutely. Our are gonna love making their projects maybe a bag or two. Maybe a bag or two. I so love this you can teal do the color too. Or fat quarter. Oh yeah, you could make a couple of Carolina's bags. You could make mm -hmm. two of the four fat quarter bags and have a fat quarter left. Okay. How fun is that? All right, now quilters, earlier in the show, we ask what kinds of bags you like to make. So now we're gonna hear some of your responses. Okay, Brenda W makes grocery bags and kudos to you because we should all yes. reuse bags. Yes. We should use reusable yes. bags. I have some from Quilt Market that I use, but I they're do. not ones that I made. I Valerie E says all kinds. Good for you, Good Valerie. for you. They're so fun. They are. Susan I says big bags to carry big projects. Oh, that is a good idea. Yeah. That is yeah. an excellent idea. Uh, Kat R says knitting bags. Oh, nice idea. Yeah, to take your knitting with you when you mm -hmm. go. Are you a knitter? I can knit. My friend Cheryl knit. has my friend Cheryl has tried very hard. I'm not that good, but sometimes I find it very relaxing. I always knit a little blanket for a grandbaby. Oh, I can just barely. So I haven't. I, I haven't. I don't do anything else. I, I made Caroline's, and I haven't touched my needle since. Okay. Uh, Linda G makes tote bags. Good for you. All yes. sorts of sizes and ways to make them. Marble, Cindy M, marble bags for boys and tote bags for girls. Marble bags. Listen, Do kids I haven't, play marbles? I don't know. I haven't played marbles since I was a kid. Wow. Okay. Okay. Kathy B says, I made large bags to hold my big AccuQuilt dies. That's brilliant. Oh, that is very clever. Yeah. I wonder if they're like long. Yeah, they'd have, I bet. Well, I bet tall. it's tall. I bet it's tall and she has handles. Yeah. Love okay. that. Debbie S is making out, oh, she says making a bag is on her to-do list. Oh, good. Good job. Well, hopefully okay. you've got a little inspiration going. I have to tell you, quilters, until Carolina Moore stepped foot into the studio, I had never made a bag. Really? Never. Oh my goodness. One, they include zippers and oh, bottoms. Well, they don't have to include zippers. Like the grocery tote, the fat quarter grocery tote, there is no zipper involved with that. Tote. Okay, I'd never made a bag. And now I've made many. Yes, you have. Okay. 
We're having fun with them, as a matter of fact. All right, quilters, we have tons of great deals available for you on our website. We certainly do. Now, to get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. It'll take you to the site. You can see the offers, and you can place your order. Yay. This month's dye to try. If you don't have it, listen, we're almost sold out of these. They are so get you so a fast. Die. They are being adopted very quickly. Oh, there we go. Um, it was a big litter too. Uh, yeah, it's the <laughs> die to try for this month, but it's only around uh, this month or where the supplies last. That's right, and only from AccuQuilt.com or your local AccuQuilt retailer. Oh, and don't forget, tune in again tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time because I'm going to be back. We're starting our next oh. quilt AQS and Accu quilt along tomorrow, that and we are starting making the Go Simply Cubed throw quilt. It's on the website. You need the 10 inch cube, but Erica, could you make it with other sizes? You cubes? could make it with any size cube you wanted to. You just have a different size bag. Yep. And speaking of stuff that Erica and I are doing, uh, Wednesday after the show tomorrow, yes. we are getting in our car and we are driving to Missouri, which we is are. not that far away. No. We are going to Columbia, Missouri first. We're going to Apple Tree Quilts. We have an event there on Thursday morning yes. at 10 a.m. Um, contact Apple Tree Quilts if you uh, want to register for the class. Right. Then we're spending the night, we're getting in the car and we're driving the next day to St. Louis. St. Louis. There's an arch there. Yes. Um, also, there's Jackman's Fabrics there, yes. and that's where we're going to be. So call them. And register. we're there from 10 to 2, right? Yes. Or 10 to 1 or something. Yes. Okay, and then we're driving then. to Springfield, Missouri. Yes. Not Springfield, Illinois. Springfield, Missouri. Yes. And we are going to. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember. Quilt Sampler? There we go. And we we're doing an event there on Saturday. Yes, so and Thursday, that Friday, one and I think is starting at 11. Yes. Because and if folks from Kansas City want time to, they have folks coming down from Kansas City, so we're going to start a little late so they can have a chance to get there. Listen, if you're coming from Kansas City on Saturday, you darn well better bring us barbecue. Oh, well, good point. Excellent okay. point. So we're on the road. We're doing some trade-up and learns. Check out those retailers. All right. It is time for us to get ready for tomorrow. So don't forget, it's the Quilt Along. If you don't know anything about it, join us tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time. We hope that today's trunk show is just what you needed to inspire you to jump in and make some bags. So keep stitching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Hey quilters, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live for some quilty fun. Tomorrow, Erica is going to be here. We're going to cut and organize pieces for a quilt along the Go Simply Cubed Throw Quilt. You want to tune in to see if you want a door prize that we give away during our show. And join us next Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time as we look at projects you can make to honor your mama and all the important women in your life. See you there.